very pleased to inform the SPEN members that uh, SPEN guidelines on ICU nutrition are now available. This is a work of two years bringing the best experts together uh, that succeeded to uh, answer to many questions that the clinicians are asking all the time in the ICU. This is based on the literature bringing more than 300 articles, but also creating 25 PICO questions and uh, generating more than 57 recommendations and statements. We were helped by a big center creating meta-analysis for questions that were really very important and had a lot of uh, literature available. These guidelines are giving answers to the clinician to better define who are the patients at risk of malnutrition, how we can see if the patient has comorbidities and how we have to take care of this, but also to define how much calories the patient need, how to start to feed them through the anterior way or through the parenteral way, or maybe both. Not neglecting the oral intake, of course. And going a little bit deeper, not only in the root, but also in the composition of the nutrition. After creating a good frame for how much calories a patient should receive, we have to define how much protein and also balance adequately the carbohydrates and the lipids. Of course, there is a focus on vitamins and trace elements. Should we use more antioxidants and should we adapt the posology according to the condition? For the first time, we are also going into more specific diseases like septic, trauma patients, patients with dysphagia, frail patients, or obese patients. Definitively, these guidelines are giving a new way to practice nutrition in the ICU for the clinician. They are trying to help the clinician in a practical way, of course, going a little bit more for personalized nutrition, but keeping a general view of the patient. Good luck.